my hold back, one of my favorite snakes that I had hatched this season. So this is a fire GHI yellow belly red stripe clown. And you can see the dorsal stripes a lot thicker and you can see a lot more red on it as well. Double hit and she was bred to the same male. All right, not only do I have one, but two, but three. Holy moly. What's up YouTube? How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing really good. Well, as you guys saw in the title and the thumbnail, we have some exantic clowns. And before I get to those, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of clowns that I have that I'm holding back and some that I just hatched out. Cause as you guys know already, clowns are my favorite morphs out of all ball pythons, man. I think they're amazing. They're always looking better and better. And yeah, man, I'm really excited to show you guys this vlog. But yes, we have some exantic clowns, VPI to be exact. And uh, before we get to that, let's start off with some holdbacks. So you guys know that we were running out of room just because we're hatching a lot of crazy stuff and we actually have a clutch that we're gonna pull out in a few. But before we get to there, let me start off with some cool um, clown stuff that I have. So hopefully the, you know, the light does good over here. Right here we have a yellow belly clown, 100% head pied. Beautiful little girl right here. All right, so cool, that's one right there. Next we have one of my favorites, I think has the best head stamp in the world, just cause she looks really, really angry. And right here we have a ODYB leopard clown, 100% head pied. Oh, beautiful girl, man. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Yellow belly scarecrow. A yellow belly scarecrow, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a banana Batman or coral girl Batman, but this does have yellow belly in it and possible red stripe as well. And look at that nice little ringer. And then one that I'm really excited about to see if I could prove out, um, it could be a possible Pompeii, pastel Pompeii. And the way she is looking, oh man, uh, it's making me really think that she really is. I mean, if you put this side by side to the Pompeii, it literally looks the same, just like the black and white version. So freaking cool, man. Sorry guys, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of clown stuff, a lot of my hold back. And then this right here is a Cypress Clown, which you guys are gonna trip out when I show you this clutch that we just cut. Again, hold back, Cypress Clown female. Gotta upgrade those Batmans. Cypress Clown female, take that back. Cypress Batman female, forgot. So <laughs> yeah, again, Cypress Batman. Now I could go back again. Gotta upgrade those Batman girls. I mean, I have a pretty good amount of them, but maybe, you know, change that up a little bit. Then right here we have this yellow belly spot nose clown, possible red stripe. Um, I'm not sure if it's red stripe, uh, red stripe actually, because we just hatched one and it's a big difference. You guys will see in a little bit, but yeah, definitely still holding this thing back. Can't have enough of these. And then we have this beautiful orange dream leopard clown pied. This thing is so freaking awesome. Yes, and all these were produced over here at AEP. And then this is kind of funny. You guys remember my holdback, one of my favorite snakes that I had hatched this season, Botnose Fire Clown male with some good size on him already. I just put him up on the market and he lasted about one minute, no lie. He actually got sold. And this guy got picked up by Antoine from DPR Cold Blood. I mean, he's going all the way to Canada. Beautiful male I have. Again, a Cypress Fire Clown. Dude, it's funny, man. The clown stuff usually always sells really good for me, but the Cypress stuff, I cannot like see whatever I put on Morph Market, it just sells like that. It's a pretty crazy gene, man. And I'm glad I actually, you know, got a lot of clutches out of it. Cause it definitely, you know, made me a lot of cool stuff as well, which I'm gonna get to real, real quick. But let me see if I have any other clown stuff. Turtle, do I have any clown stuff? Um, no, I don't. Let's right go. Here. All right, back to some more clown stuff. Check this out right here. So right here we have a GHI yellow belly red stripe orange dot clown and look at this man isn't this so freaking beautiful it is a male and he is for sale as well and then right here we have the same thing but with fire so this is a fire ghi yellow belly red stripe clown see they're very similar this one's a lot lighter it's a really cool orange dot yeah, man, if we get a snake that orange, that'd be freaking sick. But yeah, we have these two clowns right here. Let me pull out a couple of other ones. I'm telling you, man, I'm going freaking clown crazy over here. And I'm gonna show you guys this one real, real quick. This is the one that was telling you that, the one that I showed inside my room that was spot nose uh, yellow belly clown. So this right here is a spot nose yellow belly red stripe clown. And you could see the dorsal stripes a lot thicker and you can see a lot more red on it as well. And this thing, this snake right here just looks a little more colorful to me on the other one. Again, the other one still could be a possible red stripe, but I mean, I don't know, you guys tell me, this one right here is freaking beautiful though. Definitely, definitely a hold back. Now let me show you some of their crazy, crazy clutch mates. All right, so these are the last clowns I'm gonna show before I get to that clutch, and then I'm gonna show you guys the awesome Exantics that I got and who I got them from. But man, right here, we still don't know what these snakes are. Let me just open them up carefully. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you guys know that I post these bad boys right here. And this right here is what I believe is a red stripe bamboo, possible yellow belly clowns. 
Both of them are male and a female, sorry, so it's 1.1. Don't know which I'm gonna be selling yet. Well, most likely I'll be called selling the male. But yeah, beautiful freaking snakes, man. Again, uh, what I think they are is a bamboo, red stripe, possible yellow belly clown. So crazy, man. Beautiful snakes, though. All right, before I show you guys the clutch real quick, we have to pull out a clutch. And it's this clutch right here. You guys wanna see something cool? It's like the last lockup. Oh man, they're not locked up anymore. So right here we have a bot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown, bred to a black pastel, red stripe head clown. Hopefully we can make some super red stripe Pompeys since I missed on the other ones. Here's the clutch right here. And it's a big clutch, man. Oh man, she's not letting me get in there. Look at that. So this is the girl that I bought as a ODYB Het Pied Possible Het Clown. And she actually proved out to be clown as well. She's the double head and she was bred to the same male leopard clown pied. So let's see how much eggs are in there. Man, these eggs look humongous. So let's pull her out real quick. And hopefully we get some great odds with her because last year I was able to hit two visual clown pieds. Get this out of here real quick. Put them over here. Let's red tag this. All right, so I'm gonna put her back real quick. All right guys, so look, right here we have 10 eggs, man. And they look really, really healthy. So we're gonna just start peeling them off. She must have just laid because they're pretty easy to come off. For you guys that pull the um, peel the eggs apart, man, it's crazy when sometimes you leave a snake in there and you don't check on it for a couple days. It's already been sitting there for like two days. They're so hard, hard to peel off. But luckily, these right here are pretty easy. You know, I'm telling you, these eggs are humongous. They look big in your hand. Yeah, I have little hands too. Not like That's Harry, true. not like Harry Wayne little, but you know, I'm only like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, anyways. All right, let's candle these big efforts and let's go from there. Perfect. All right, cool. Let's get the information going real quick and let's show off these exantic clowns. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a quick little glimpse. Check this out, look how beautiful they look. Bam, there's one. Bam, there's two. Bam, there's three. All right, let's take them out. All right, not only do I have one, but two, but three. Holy moly, whoo. Three uh, VPI exantic clowns. And these came from the homie, Mike, from Insane Clowns. And if you got, holy crap, let me put this one down real quick. This thing is just really, really mad. If you guys ain't following him already, please go check him out on his Instagram. I'm gonna put all his information in the description down below and his handle right here. Bro, you need to like chill out real quick. Holy hell, I forgot the last time I've had a snake, so. So mean. Yeah. All right, so let me put this one right here. And put this one right there. But look how beautiful they are, man. Dude, this one has something. This one's something else. This is the best I could open these bad boys up. Like I said, man, they are pretty, pretty aggressive, but they are really, really, really good feeders, man. This one right here, I don't know what's wrong with it though, man. And they're all females. We got three little girls. They actually kind of look a little bluish. What did you say, Turtle? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little like a uh, little like little tint blue. Kind of cool, man. But these things are freaking beautiful, man. They're so freaking pretty. It was crazy. I actually missed the odds on this. Um, I wanted to make a Cypress VPI Exantic head clown, but I totally missed the odds on it because um, I definitely would like to see a Cypress uh, Exantic clown. I think that'll be freaking insane, dude. You have a freaking problem. What's cracking, man? That is so freaking funny. I haven't had a snake like that, you know, that aggressive for a long time. But yeah, these are it again. Again, they came from my homie Mike at Insane Clowns. You guys need to go check him out, man. He is building up an arsenal of clowns. And trust me, he has some cr <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. I cannot believe the snake over here, man. So freaking funny. But yeah, so this is it right here. I wanted to show you guys a lot of my clown projects that I have. And I'm gonna, let me put this girl away. She is just not having it. <laughs> put her back over here. I feel so bad when we're all stressing out. There you go. Well, at least you know these things could eat, man. But yeah, man, such beautiful snakes. I need to get a male now. Gosh, you gotta love these, man. So pretty. The other one, this one's actually, I think, like the prettiest one. Sounds very, like, white. Yeah. Again, big shout out to Mike, man. Thanks again, man. Guys, go give him a follow, man. This guy, you know, hooked the brother up. But yeah, guys, these are the VPI Exantics, the clowns right here that I have. Really excited about getting into this project and make some cool stuff down the line. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know I said I was gonna show you guys a clutch, but Tina just reminded me that I should just do a vlog on it itself because it is that freaking crazy. So I'm gonna wait for them to shut out. That way I can show you guys an update on some other stuff and then go from there. But as always guys, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.